Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and today I think we've got a really good opportunity to test out the effectiveness of this precision manufacturing tree puller. I'll tell the whole story as we go along, but basically I've got two jobs to accomplish today. I need to pull a bunch of small trees that are kind of blocking us from accessing other parts of the property and from turning our trailers around. And the second thing is we've got some larger logs that need loaded up onto a trailer and I didn't have the trailer space to bring a second attachment. So I'm going to see if I can load those with the tree puller or if I have to use chains. Anyway, let's get started. I feel like we're going to pull a lot of trees in a short period of time. I did not count travel time because that's always going to vary, but it is 3.30 right now. I'm just going to see how many trees I pull and how long it takes. This. I could just barely get my fingers around that tree. So what is that? Five inch diameter, something like that. Um, ideal tree size for this and there's a lot more just like it behind it some of them a little smaller I would like as we pull as we pull in here I'd like to be able to use this area as a place to turn around so I'm gonna clear it out
So I pulled up probably, I don't know, 20 some trees and it has been 27 minutes. I actually got out of the skid loader, I think four times to move the camera. And the biggest thing that slowed me down was that this canopy up here was trying to snag these trees. Because even though these are mostly small diameter, these are tall trees, 20, 30 feet at least. And so, if you had an area like this that you needed to completely clear, this is going to be a great tool. And if you're saying, well, those are all small trees, I've got bigger trees, there's really no limit to the size of tree you can take out with this. I mean, eventually there is, but here, let's turn it around here. So this tree right here, It's about an 18 inch diameter tree I'm guessing pretty really tall you could take that tree out with that tree puller it might take you 30 minutes of digging around it and then you get up on it 12 feet in the air and push it back and forth and just keep pushing it the way the weights going which is over this way all that weight up in the air once you break some roots, you're going to be able to push that over. And I've already pulled out one tree that was 14 inches. So if you have land clearing to do, you know, sure it's a heck of a lot cheaper than a mulcher. I had a second task to do while I'm here, which is we've got some trees, bigger trees, bigger than these, that we've already cut down and they need loaded onto a trailer. The guy who is, is taking those home with him should be here any minute. So I'm going to wait on him. And we're going to see if I brought the right tool for that job, if I can get those logs loaded without tearing them up. I almost forgot to talk about the other purpose of this being something I may have mentioned it already, but whenever I brought the skid loader in, I had to go back up into a corner here and do like a three point, four point turn to get myself turned around to drive back out. And now another trailer is coming in. But what we've done here is open up this area. Opened up this area now. If you're coming down the trail there, you can come all the way out where the skid loader's parked and make a circle. And should be able to make a full turnaround right here without any of that hassle of trying to jackknife a trailer. So me and Billy came out here and cut down three trees. 
probably two weeks ago or so and each one has at least two saw logs so we're gonna see if I can use the tree puller because that's all I have and carry out these saw logs I thought before I got here I thought I might be able to to use the jaws and pick them up from the end but these are too heavy for that and if it worked it would tear up the log so I'm gonna try to get under them and if they feel stable I'll just carry them if they don't feel stable then we can use a chain to move them or whatever we need to do Well, I got this one picked up and then it rolled off. So we got the chain through it, chain through these big loops right here. I'm gonna see if I can carry it this way. All right, well, I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.